Hey, what's up, guys? Welcome back here, and today we are going to be playing some Blood Death Knight. I honestly, I just wanted to play some Blood Death Knight. Uh, I feel like it's been a while since I've played it, and the deck is just really fun. Um, I, I do really, really enjoy this deck. Uh, yeah, I, I don't have really anything else to say. Um, besides. I guess let's queue up the first one. <laughs> yeah, I, I genuinely have nothing else to say. So yeah, let's let's just let's just queue it up. All right, guys. I'll see you guys all. Then. All right. First matchup against the priest. Um. I'm a little bit worried that it might be aggro, so I want to keep the removal spell. Blood Boil is super good if it is aggro. Did I actually queue into the one person that's playing Big Priest? That's fucking wild. That is fucking wild. I have not seen a Big Priest in... 10... Ten weeks? I feel like it's actually been forever since the last time I saw a big priest. Alright. Uh that's not bad. Okay. Maybe I draw patchwork and I eat his guy beforehand. Huh? Alright. Just doing this. He's gonna go Shadow Essence here and I lose the game. Yeah, like... I can't believe I actually hit Big Priest. Of all decks... Genuinely cannot believe I hit Big Priest. Mm. I guess it's... I guess it's just... Probably my best option. I need to hit like more grain in two turns. Okay, it doesn't even matter. Interesting. That's how he does not have to act to kill. Um. Just do this. Taking two damage here is not the end of the world at all. I'm much more worried about the other things that could be coming. <laughs> uh, unless he's playing like a for fun big priest list. I mean, I guess it's technically possible. It must be two cards, right? Oh, one, three courses came from. Almost back up to five corpses. This thing grows now. Yeah. Oh my god. I, I feel like I'm not saying anything, but I have nothing to say. It's Big Priest. It's just deal with whatever minion he plays, and then hopefully that's going to be good enough. 
Okay. Okay, let's think. Uh, do I have... I guess, I guess everyone should go grab a drink if you guys don't already have one. I currently have me a bottle of Coke. Because I wanted to hit some Coke. This is still in the MT2, right? Yeah. I don't really want to attack with that. There's no point. That Aslo is a really, really good top deck. Patrick would be a very interesting draw. So I don't know if his only creature in his deck is Yogg. It's very possible that his only creature is Yogg. He's on like a full on beam big priest list. Which, to be fair, if it's that, I don't care about what happens. Straight up. Where I do care is if he's playing just normal big priestess. That's just fucking lame. Um, fine. I can do this, which does kill both of them. I can do this, which will kill both of them. I'm gonna go with this then. Do it this way, save some health that way. I think I want this. I'm pretty sure I want this overall. Of course, I have a board wipe here. Solid board wait for him. <laughs> Very conveniently, my I have enough power still alive to kill that. Okay. Show me what else is in our hand of yours. This is gonna be like really good for me. That's a huge draw. I don't think I'll ever need Finley. Okay. Nothing can attack this turn, so I can actually play slowly here. I can actually play fairly slowly and go just like Alexandros Hero Power here. Oh. I could save Bran for this, but I think I'd rather just slam this here. Start putting him on a clock of just potentially dying slowly over time. That's fine. He's always gonna hit that, so Yeah, I can't I can't be worried about him hitting that. He'll always hit it on uh on his thing. Corpse explosion very conveniently kills all of those things. So I have exactly five corpses. Fairly convenient. Hopefully, play something else that has sub five health. Because that would just be silly. We are out controlling him so good. <laughs> oh, I should have waited a turn. Force him to kill this with a res. If he can't kill Bran, I mean Alex uh Astler's uh twenty-four damage. So Okay, well. Uh, 
That's fine. Patchwork would be a pretty solid draw here. Patchwork would still be pretty pretty solid draw. This game sucks. We're slowly beating him down. <laughs> Again, I want I want to get the Omega Soul Stealer value is the big thing. Like I'm definitely playing very greedy, uh, to ideally get value there, and I'll I'll admit it. Which is why I was hoping like this dirty rat would have hit something better. Fine. Even if I take ten, I'm still still at forty five health right now. Oh, yeah. That's pretty good. I won't lie. 36? That's a lot of fun. I was not expecting that much damage, if I'm being honest. Ah. Ow. That is a lot more damage than I thought I was going to take. Huh. Yeah, I mean... That was fairly high roll, I guess, hitting the one of... 10 damage burst creature you can hit. I guess that, that's, that's, that was pretty high roll, but... At a certain point, there's also not much you could have... Could, there, there's like nothing different I could have done there. I need to get life steal of some sort here. I can do this poke there. Gain two up to six. I survive at one. Then I have to hit something that this works with. I do have a bunch of ways still to gain life in my deck. I, I have this gains me life. This can technically gain me life. This is like the best one to gain a shitload of life quickly. Vampiric blood as well is really good. Like that or I try to high roll haunt minion with this. I have to do this. I gain two up to six. If he has one damage, he has one damage. There's... Taking 36 in one shot was not ideal, turns out. Uh. That was fucking wild. I can't believe I lost to that high roll. I guess I also kind of... If I didn't waste... The rush, dude. I had enough health gain to survive. Hmm. That was fucking wild. I should have just blood boiled. Dirty rat blood boiled. I would have gained six. I would have still been at full health. I would have had my guy to attack to gain nine. Damn. I... 
I, to be fair, I lost to a randomized Garrosh, Romosh, whatever. So I don't, realistically, I don't think seeing that coming is, huh, yeah, I'm just dumbfounded by the fact I just took 36 in one turn to one random creature. Yeah, feels bad. Oh, well, let's, uh, let's, let's just keep the next one, right, guys? Yeah, I'll see you guys all there. All right. All right, let's go golden cards. Uh, all right. This is for, this card would have been so good last game. Uh, I'm going to sue. I guess I should assume it's the combo deck, right? I'm assuming it's the combo deck. This is really good. Assume it's the combo deck. This hand is pretty solid. You keep the removal spell just in case. You know, there's a million things that you would want the, that for. This dirty rat is also huge. Okay, no, it's aggro. I mean, if it's aggro, I still have... I have this, I have this to kill things in the aggro. I'm, I mean, my hero part is very, very good against them. <sighs> All right, well, this is what I call value. Alright, um, I don't know if playing this here is worth it, it saves me one draw next turn, like he'll draw one less card, I'll take one damage here, yeah, I guess that's fine, that deck doesn't have that many bigger creatures than that, and it's mostly killing that just so I don't have to worry about him drawing more cards, and I mean I have Arcanite Reaper, this is the first time I'm playing as Pirate Rogue, and they don't just have Swordfish on turn two or three. It's actually kind of wild. I'm going to take so much damage to that one drop. So I'm going to attack it, and I'm going to take another five. Maybe I draw Blood Boil or Corpse Explosion. That ain't either the curse I just mentioned. All right, well... That ship's cannon's gonna fuck me in the ass. And there's nothing I could realistically do about it. So... Don't fuck me too hard, I guess. It's insane how I took, like, no damage in the early turns, and now I'm at 24. I took 11 damage in one turn. About to punch a fucking 10 drop. Or a 5 attack creature, that's a 1 drop. He really hit the second Cold Blood and not the second Secret Passage. Oh, thank God. I feel a little cheap doing this, but... Get cocked. I wanted to put the dirty right here, not only, well, I knew that he had the cold blood in hand, but I wanted to be able to protect the 4-4. Four -four. Hey, there's his swordfish. I want to be able to protect this guy. Gain back some life.
Think we'll draw a spell. Alright. I feel like we're in a position we will have a hard time losing from, seeing that we have two board wipes in hand, a piece of removal, life seal on board. I'm fine getting rid of this. Check this. Losing the 4 4 here to protect this because the other option was trade with this and this. I think protecting this by forcing him to do this is slightly better. Paint damage. Plot problem play control deck. I have no way to deal with additional 4 damage. Wait, the cold blood or it's mine. Damn it, I wanted to jack the cold blood. Alright, well, get out controlled, fool. My draw this game was filthy. So good. So good. I love this deck, man. I wish this deck was slightly better. I don't know what they would have to do to Death Knight cards to make them a little bit more powerful. But like, I feel like all their control tools feel so much better than every other classes, yet Death Knight is just never played in a control variant. And that makes me feel sad. Not gonna lie. Anyways, uh, with that being said, let's, uh, let's queue up the next one, I guess. All right. I hope it's aggro. I hope it's his aggro so much. If it's aggro, this should be free. Like, absolutely free. This whole hand is so good. We start at two. Have this on three, this on four, this on five. Come on. Build up, start building up these corpses. I should have actually arguably played this on one. Played this on one, so this way any totem he has here I can trade into. But, eh, you know what? It's fine. Might as well try to start putting some damage on this in case he low rolls the healing totem. I can still go and kill it. This card is going to be nuts here. I can feel it. And having this much armor means like I won't need this a little bit later. It's going to be so good. No healing or top. actual high roll there's actually such a high roll <laughs> you could have argued i potentially want to kill this to prevent the totem buffs from actually being that effective but my hand is full of so much healing that i think it's fine probably playing this next turn with hero power gaining 10 health for free like Yeah, I would have got huge punished by that. That is really good for him. Actually insanely good for him. Well, it's also the lowest roll for me. I need to play this here. Oh. 
taking so much damage here that I feel like I kind of have to do this. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, eleven. As long as this doesn't hit this again, this that means this survives. That means I gain nine. Oh, that's so bad positioning for me. I, I might just slam this. It deals uses two corpses, which is the two corpses I have. Is that like thirty four health? I don't know if this is already. 37? Like, yeah, it's not even worth it now for me to slam this. Oh, we're playing this one. He summons the 8-8. Eight eight. I have the obliterate for it. Yeah, like, I'm in a fairly good position right now, I'd say. Hopefully he plays a small dude on either side of that, so this way Howl Fiend is, like, really good. I mean, I'd still play Hellfiend here. Interesting play right there. Well, that thing has to be obliterated. Yeah, I guess this is fine. I guess my whole goal here should be to just make it so he has nothing. Like, I'm looking to draw soul stealers now just to build up a shitload of corpses for corpse explosion. I'm looking for blood boil because that is like the single best piece of removal in the deck. Kind of wish he played that on the other side of that taunt totem. If he's smart near, he'll hero power before he attacks. Uh, in case his attack is some taunt totem, it makes hero power a little bit more. Or he's gonna play into Hellhound anyways. So I mean, I'll take I'll, I'll take him playing into Hellhound. Oh, and then I get the free eat. Shiny. No taunt. Blood boil so good too. This was so unfair. He played into this, and that makes me so happy. Remember, whenever you're playing against Hunters or Death Knights, don't play into this card. Man, I want to just do nothing but play Death Knight. Every single time I play Death Knight, I always realize how much fun this class is, and I don't want to play anything else. And yet, I always end up playing something else. There's no way he leaves the Hellhound alive, right? Oh, he's trading the 2 2 into it. Ah, pour ça. Okay, thank God. Like, there's no way he's just gonna leave me have that, right? What shot? Hmm. I'm really tempted to go Blood Boil. I gain 6, I take 9 next turn. That's fine. Oh, I should have played this. Should have played this this way. I got a 4 4. Not next turn, the turn after. Oh well. I have still so many good draws in my deck. Blood Boils, Second Hellhound, both Soul Stealers. If really need be, I can slam this. I'd like to get the two health back from here. I guess it depends if he attacks and he high rolls healing totem i have to slam this but then i think he concedes so it's all good fuck it I went, could have gone for the buff, but I think I'd rather do this so I can freeze if he plays a big dude, or I can use this as a removal spell. 
Right, because this is deal one damage to all other enemies. Yes, yeah, so I can snipe this, deal one damage to everything else, use my hero power to trade into this. Instead of gaining one health. Oh, I had to do that anyways. What? This every time. Alright, uh, hopefully what I have on board right now can deal with that, or Deathstrike can deal with it with something on board, and this way I could just slam Alexandros and start closing up the game. My 2-4 trades into that, no matter what it is, unless it's the 3-1. Okay, well, I win the game now. Hmm. I guess? Take my 1-1. One, one. Big 1-1 one, one life stealer. Let's go. At this point, I have enough shit in hand to probably make all this shit work out, so. I'm no worry. Don't worry. Be happy. I want to play this card in my hand. Easy. Gain so much life. Man, I love Blood Death Knight. I do think, though, that it's a pretty boring deck to watch, all things considered. I don't think I would necessarily enjoy watching this deck that much. Not because the deck is not cool, or not because the deck is not fun. It's just that, typically, the control resident sleeper decks are not the best for viewers. Um, it's, it's always been like that in Hearthstone magic. I remember whenever there was, uh, magic when it was control V control, right? American control versus American control in the early days of modern blue, white versus blue, white controls back in the, uh, Sphinx rev standard. Those matchups, you, if you'd watch like competitive magic, the viewer base would always tank for the length of that, that round. It'd go from say being. 2,000 viewers down to like 400 because control v control is typically just 30 minute slugfest or the game is done in five minutes because one dude drew uh like they drew the sphinx revs and the opponent didn't have the counter spell and that was able to land the guy who always blinks himself to to avoid getting removed and whatnot so it was a, it's like solid 50 50 but okay. or the elspeth or whatever I just realized I forgot to click on this. Oops. <laughs> but uh, yeah, no, overall, I I just really like this deck. I think this deck is one of the most fun decks in Wild right now. Alexandros gives you inevitability in the late game, especially if you can play it with Bran. Like, very few decks can do anything if you go Bran Alexandros pass. They're getting fireballed every single turn. Most decks fold to that. It's just too much damage. They can't do shit about it. But, hey. Also, we didn't see Patchwork, but Patchwork is also so much fun to play with. This card is so good. Another fun card to go brand with, especially against Big Priest. A lot of Big Priest lists are super greedy nowadays. And they're only playing, like, one dude, one, uh, one Blood of Goon, and then Neptalon. If they have yet to draw them, right? Or they have one in hand, one in their deck. You just go turn seven Patchwork. They're just like, yeah... Yeah, maybe they got Neptu. I have gone coin patchwork on six against a big priest player. He was holding his Neptalon. His blood was in his deck. He instantly conceded. He had no more minions left. So, like, 
It's it's just one of those cards, man, that I, I, I love him so much. Anyways, uh, all that being said, I hope you guys all enjoyed today's video. If you guys did, don't forget to like and subscribe as always. Follow me on Twitch and Twitter. Have a great rest of your day, and I'll see you guys all in the next one where hopefully we get some more dubs. All right, guys? Yeah. With that being said, I'll see you guys all in the next one. Peace.